Hey guys, so the reason I'm sitting kind of closer to you today is I am starting my back to school series and the first video in my back to school series is a simple makeup tutorial. I'm gonna kind of change it up for middle schoolers and then it's mostly gonna be like a high school makeup tutorial. I don't know. Really anyway, you can just watch it if you're in any grade. I really don't mind. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna do it kind of in more moderation for middle school and then a little bit like more makeup for high schoolers and so yeah I'm excited to start a back to school series because I did not do one last year um, just because I really like I was planning on doing one and then I just ended up not doing it because I was lazy honestly but now I'm very excited to start my own back to school series of 2013 for the 2013-2014 school year can't wait I don't know when you guys go back to school but I go back to school on August 12th and so I'm really not looking forward to that but if you are looking for a just a simple everyday makeup tutorial then this is what the finished look looks like and so it's just pretty natural and simple and just neutral based you know what I'm saying so if you're interested in this video then definitely keep watching and let's go ahead and get into it so I am gonna be talking through this tutorial rather than doing um, a voiceover because I don't really want to do a voiceover so first I'm just starting off with a completely bare face and my hair is just pulled back with a headband um, so you can see all of my friends and lovely uh, acne. Instead of using a primer to start off, I actually use an oil absorbing treatment because I have very, very oily skin. You can substitute this out with a primer if you like using primer, but personally I like using this. And it's also going to absorb the oil on your face like throughout the day. So I'm taking my Clean and Clear oil absorbing treatment and so I just have like, I put a pea sized amount of it on my finger and now it's like dripping down. But I'm just gonna um, start putting this on my face, focusing more on my T-zone. And now I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Stay Don't Stray little mini uh, eye primer. And then going in with my Benefit Boing Concealer, I'm in the shade 01, and I actually hit pan on this so hard, it's almost gone but I'm going to be going under my eyes and just covering up my under eye circles. And now for foundation, the foundation that I use and my favorite foundation ever. I've talked about it many times before, but it's great for covering up blemishes and obviously acne scarring and any imperfections that you wanna cover up. And so this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous and I am in the shade Ivory. And so I actually um, don't apply this with a brush, I apply it with my fingers. And so I take about one pump and then like a quarter of another pump to get about this much on my fingers and then I just put this all over my face. And the reason that I would say I prefer using my fingers for the application of that foundation is because I feel like my brush that I normally would use with it absorbs a lot of the foundation into the brush rather than, like I feel like I have to use more of it to get all of it on my face. And honestly, blending it in with my fingers really isn't that hard and I just like the way that it turns out a lot better. And so now taking my Boing Concealer again and then a concealer brush. This is just a precision flat angled brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna get some of this and cover it up on my problem areas and other stuff that I want to cover up. And so like I said at the beginning of the video, I do have very, very oily skin. And so I like to mattify my face with a powder before I go in with any other like powder products like blush or bronzer or anything. And so I'm taking my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. This is my baby, it's like my life. And it works so well. So if you have very, very oily skin, I would definitely suggest this. So I'm just taking a very large and fluffy brush and just applying this all over my face. And it is the summer right now, but typically during the school year, I don't 
really wear um, bronzer all over my face because obviously I am really pale, but right now my face and foundation is a little bit lighter than my neck and like chest, I guess. So I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit Hoola bronzer. This is my all-time favorite bronzer ever. And just a fluffy brush again and just apply this all over my face. I'm gonna keep this relatively simple for back to school and not as harsh so I won't do any contouring or anything and just keeping it more natural especially for school but if you do like wearing blush then I would suggest maybe a just light blush nothing too harsh or too dark or anything my favorite very natural blush to use is my Mac mineralized blush and this is in moon river and I'm really not sure if they sell this anymore but I got it at CCO which is just like an outlet for makeup and so um, yeah it's just mineralized and very very light and it has like a light shimmer to it and so I like you using this just on the apples of my cheekbones just to kind of give my cheeks a little pop of color And this is a middle school and also a high school makeup tutorial uh, together. So I'd say maybe for middle schoolers, if you don't like having too much makeup on your face or don't want to look like you're too uh, done up for school, maybe skip the blush and just go with foundation or just if you have good enough skin, just keep your skin completely natural. Either way, if you like wearing blush, then wear blush, of course, but um, I would say if you're in like lower grades or something or younger, I wouldn't do your makeup up too much with blush, but I mean, whatever suits you, whatever you wanna do, definitely go for it. But maybe if you would like to have a little bit of highlighting on your cheeks or something like that, then you could go in with a little highlighter, and so I like to use Benefit's What's Up, and this I'm just going to apply to the very highest point of my cheekbones to give me a kind of a nicer glow, and you can do this if you're in high school, middle school, whatever. It looks really pretty on, and so it's not too like colored or done up. It's just a nice glow. So like I said, I'm just gonna apply this to the highest point of my cheekbones, and so I'm just gonna take it like right here, and then I'm gonna blend it out. And like I said, it just kind of gives you a really nice glow, as you can see on the tops of your cheeks right there. And sometimes I'll put it like a little bit at the top of my cupid's bow. And then just blend that out to make it a little more bright and prominent. And now for eye makeup, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. And so I love to fill in my eyebrows. If you personally don't like to do this, then you can of course skip this step. But I like to have um, just fuller brows and kind of fill in like the bald spots, make them a little bit darker. Yes, I said bald spot. So I have this cool little duo and it has a brush on the end to brush out your brows. And then it also has a pencil to fill them in. And so this is the professional eyebrow pencil from Rimmel London. And so I'm just gonna brush them out and then fill them in. But as you can see, I kind of just go back and forth making sure that my eyebrows are even and filled in. And they kind of are coming off looking darker on camera, but I promise that they're not this dark in real life. And they do match my hair color, as you can see. Okay, they're not too dark. <laughs> and I actually line my eyes before I put any eyeshadow on. And so what I'm going to do is just take my Tarte Emphasis Eyes, and this is in a nude color. I like doing either white or nude on the bottom lash line so that my eyes look brighter. And I would suggest this for a lot of people as well because black can kind of, I mean, a lot of people do prefer black liner, but black can make your eyes look a lot smaller than they already are. And my eyes, as you can see, are very, very tiny. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes with this nude. I like to line my tight line and I do that with a black liner. And so I use the Bad Gal Waterproof Liner and this is just in like super black. And lining your tight line up here is gonna make your lashes look a bit fuller when you do mascara. And as for the whole switching between middle school and high school looks, I would suggest just going with mascara from here and skipping the um, eyeshadow part, but I am gonna do eyeshadow for those high schoolers out there. Honestly, if you are in middle school and you like wearing eyeshadow, completely go for it. 
but um, if you like to keep it more natural then you can always just skip this step and go on with the mascara. So for the eyeshadow look I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette because one this palette is super light and neutral and I feel like a lot of other people have it. And I used to actually use this for an everyday eye look and so I'm going to be taking the colors Verve, Suspect, and Snake Bite. So that's this one this one and this one. So first starting off with taking Verve, I'm just gonna put this all over my lid and it's just like a light gold neutral color. So if you have this not in a palette, then go ahead and use a substitute of it. And then taking Suspect right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my crease. And then lastly, taking Snake Bite, I'm gonna put this in a V-shaped formation in my outer corner. And now I'm just gonna blend this all out with just a Sigma blending brush. And for this look, I'm just gonna do a plain white highlight, and so I'm taking Foxy from the Naked 2 palette as well, and I'm just gonna get this on my finger actually, and just take this right under my brow bone, and I'm already like pretty light skinned, so as you can see it doesn't show up that well, but when light bounces off of it, um, it has a little bit of sparkle to it. It's actually mostly matte, but it has like a tiny bit of sparkle, so you can kind of notice, but it's just gonna like brighten it all up. And so I actually really like this eyeshadow look because I feel like it is very neutral and just really wearable for every day. And once again, you'll be completely able to recreate this with different colors. It's really just a bunch of, like I said, neutral colors and just light golds and um, dark brown for the outer corners. And this being a simple makeup tutorial, I'm going to not do my typical eyeliner wings. I'll normally do cat eyes just because that's what I normally wear every day, but um, not everybody wears them every day, so I'm just not going to wear them today. And I know some of you like it when I don't wear them, so the next step is just to curl your lashes. And then you can just use your favorite mascara, my personal favorite, and I think a lot of you will like it as well, and it's the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. A lot of you ask for a mascara routine, and so this is actually my mascara routine like put into this. This is the only thing that I use. I don't use like dual mascaras at all. I only use one. If you guys were wondering what mascara I use, it's this, and I just love it because of the brush, mostly. So now you can kind of see the difference definitely between the two eyes. Now I'm just going to be applying this to my bottom lashes as well. And so yeah, for those of you asking for a mascara routine, I really don't do anything abnormal. I just apply mascara and that is my mascara routine. <laughs> and then the last and final step is just apply your favorite chapstick because a lot of people don't like wearing lipstick to school and I definitely wouldn't recommend it if you're in middle school or even high school really. It's just kind of odd, unless it's like a neutral shade. So I just apply chapstick. So this is actually the finished look. It's pretty neutral and just natural looking, but you can really do anything that you want with this and like incorporate any kind of, you know, if you want to do it with color, go for it. If you want to do like a different color blush, you know, just switch it up with any of the products that you have. But I just thought that this look is pretty natural looking, especially for school. And so yeah, this was the first video in my back to school series. Look out for more and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, and it also is going to absorb your oil, and it also is going to absorb the out, blah, blah, blah. And, it, and it also is going to absorb your oil, and it's also going to absorb your oil, your oil, your oil, and it's also going to absorb, <laughs> this is literally my life story in a clip. And so I used the bad ga, bad gal, YDK and Busted, and I'm gonna eat. No, I don't wanna use those. Verve, YDK.
no, I'm really indecisive about this. Okay, well, there it goes. Bye! Ugh. And so yeah, this was the first uh, and so yeah, this was the first video in my back to school series. And so look out for more coming and I will see you in my next one. Ah. This literally happens every single time I film an outro. Ugh. Yeah. New York City skyline with top high guy.